pretty cool new feature in Firefox version 75, which is called the lazy loading. There is a property that you can put in the image tag and you just say, hey, I want this image to be lazy loaded. And it just does. So cool. How about we show it, guys? So let's just jump into it, guys. So I, I wrote up a quick HTML5 file, a uh, bunch of images, nothing fancy here. And I'm going to load these images and just take a look. Right? So I'll go ahead and do web console, network, and now you're fire or fresh. You can see that all of these 11 images are actually being requested the moment I refresh the page. That's obviously not a great idea, if you, especially if you have like these uh, Vogue magazines and, and, and uh, I don't know, National Geographic with all, tons of pictures, you know. Despite them not being in the view, there is no need for me to actually load them. So it kills the bandwidth, it puts unnecessary traffic to your CDN or your web servers, and in, in, in a nutshell, it's not a good idea. So if you add this new attribute called loading equal lazy, then by default, Firefox or Chrome, I'm not sure if Chrome still supports it or not, well, lazy load that image. Let's get let's go ahead and change all of these to lazy loading and yep, I changed all of them now to have a property attribute called lazy. Now, go back, open this puppy. Let's take a look, peek at what's going on. Refresh, look at that. I am only viewing picture number 1, so that's the only thing that got loaded. Well, let's keep scrolling. Well, look at that. Picture 2 was loaded. Picture three is loaded, picture four is loaded, and so on. This is obviously better, guys, because most of the time, when you click in an article or a blog, you're not gonna scroll all the way, right? So you're, if you don't have lazy loading enabled by default, then you will end up hogging your network, uh, slowing down the loading page, and, and so much stuff, right? So I don't can I can't think of a reason not to actually have this all the time to be honest just always have images as lazy loading all right just definitely it's better for your performance pages load faster and obviously it's better so now <laughs> you don't have to write those ugly scripts that does the lo lazy loading by default right it's just now just add this attribute and you can get the beautiful lazy loading so here's the thing guys I, another thing I noticed is if I use a script to actually generate these thing, that doesn't seem to work. And I'm not sure why. So this is the exact same script, right? But what it does is it just literally just generates the same images, but as a script. So I think that logic is not kicking, it's not getting kicked in for some reason, right? So look at that. Despite me having the same images, right? I'm still loading all the images, right? Despite actually having the uh, the property on all of them, right? So I have the properties as lazy, but they don't seem to work for some reason if I generate that programmatically. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe it's a bug in the Firefox uh, browser, but yeah, as long as you have these images like that, you can actually enable lazy loading. And uh, the default is you can just change this to eager. The default value for loading is eager, which means the eager loading. So it's gonna load the moment that element exists on your page. It's gonna go ahead and load it. All right, guys. So I talked about lazy loading versus eager loading, guys. So if you're interested, uh, check out that video just to talk about uh, just how lazy loading and how eager loading and what is actually better. There are always advantages and pros and cons. But in this case, I can't think of a reason to load the images eagerly. Maybe performance, I don't know. It's like just because like I'm going to load the page and if I'm actually seeing the page, then go ahead and load that stuff. If if everything is down and it's not in the view, then probably it's not a good idea to load it because I'm not gonna see it. 
very quick video to show you the new features of Firefox 75, the lazy loading, guys. So yeah, look at that. This is this is the attributes, right? This is the new attribute. So I'm not sure if uh, Chrome actually supports it. How about we actually go and test that? Yeah, it looks like Chrome does not support it, guys. Uh, as if version 81. That's the latest version that as of today, which is what? April 10. Chrome still does not support lazy loading on image attributes. So yeah, but probably it's coming since it's uh, obviously it's a... Uh, it's an image uh, standard, so this standard is going to be implemented one time or another. All right, guys, uh, that's it for me today. I'm going to see you in the next one with more coolish stuff. Stay awesome.